The quality of education or the lack of it has been a debate that goes as far back as independence. It's been raised on the floor of parliament on numerous occasions. Bougainville's Joe Lehrer believes it's linked to brain drain, where academics have opted to leave institutions for greener pastures overseas. He said expatriates are paid higher even though they have the same qualifications as nationals. He wants the government to review the dual wage system. This system also negatively impacts on the quality of qualifications attained by students attending these institutions. He says it's not fair that Papua New Guineans are treated as second-class citizens in their own country. Minister for Higher Education David Arora in reply said universities in the country have independent salary structures, but the idea of making them the same across the board is being looked at. And so we are working on the um, salary um, structures law, all institutions now, and uh, to ensure that they are all uniform across the board, and in the process of de uh, dealing with that, we'll also deal with the uh, dual salary structure uh, system blame me. Inside law institutions blame me law. Papua New Guinea. There are currently seven higher institutions in the country, with Unitech and UPNG being the oldest universities. Meredith Kusa, National, MTV News.